India is going back to the moon in style, learning from the failure of its previous mission, Chandrayaan-3 is roaring towards our only natural satellite. ISRO has embarked on an ambitious journey to land the unmanned spacecraft on the surface of the moon. Here's a comprehensive report sent by Weon's Siddharth MP. The liftoff of India's largest and heaviest rocket, the LVM-3 vehicle, this is a 642-ton rocket that's lifting off. LVM-3 uh, is a rocket that is powered by three types of fuel, solid, liquid and cryogenic fuel. You can see that the LVM-3 rocket is lifting off now. So as we speak, there's 400 tons of solid fuel that is burning. This is hydroxyl terminated polybutadiene, ammonium perchlorate that's burning nearly through Two-thirds of the rocket's fuel is burning as we speak to get the rocket off the ground. Let's remember that this is a mission that will last about 16 and a half minutes. The rocket is now giving away its characteristic engine roar for almost an 8-kilometer radius around Satish Dhawan Space Center. With this begins India's latest tryst with the moon. Indian space agency ISRO's heavyweight LVM-3M4 rocket lifted off from Sriharikota in the southern state of Andhra Pradesh. Carrying the Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft, which is blazing its way to the far side of the moon. Chandrayaan means moon vehicle in Sanskrit, built on a budget of just under $75 million dollars the spacecraft carries an orbiter, a lander and a rover in a demonstration of India's emerging space technology. The spacecraft has now embarked on a journey lasting slightly over a month. It will land on the lunar surface on August 23rd. As thousands of enthusiasts clapped and cheered at the launch site, Applause and cheers swept through Mission Control at Satish Dhawan Space Center. Chandrayaan-3 has started its journey towards moon. Our dear LVM-3 has already put Chandrayaan-3 craft into the precise orbit around Earth. 170 by 36,500 km was its intended target orbit and it is precisely there now. Only three other space agencies, the United States, the former Soviet Union and China have touched down a lander on the moon's surface. But none have landed near the lunar south pole where ISRO has set its eyes. After landing on the moon, six-wheeled rover Pragyan will emerge. Pragyan means wisdom in Sanskrit. The rover has two payloads. One would explore the lunar surface. The second one will make measurements which would help in search for Earth-like planets outside our solar system. An unprecedented feat that would advance India's position as a major space power. With Siddharth MP in Sriharikota, Bureau Report, we on World is One. Well, our senior correspondent Siddharth MP sent us this report from Sri Harikota earlier. After the launch, in fact, this, uh, you know, a different team takes over. Till the time the launch happens, it is the spaceport that is in charge of the rocket. It is the rocket scientists that monitor all the parameters. But after the launch, it's a completely different team that takes over. So after the launch, it's a team known as Spacecraft Mission Operations Team that takes over. This is a completely different science. So to launch a rocket using chemicals and to, uh, to launch a rocket using the power of propulsion is one thing. But once the craft is in space we are talking just about a small object which is just about 3.9 tons which, which which when compared to the launch vehicle which is a massive 642 tons is very small and of course this object is traveling at blazing fast speeds in space it's traveling at a speed anywhere between 20 to 28000 kilometers per hour in space and as this spacecraft travels around the earth as it circles the earth in an elliptical orbit what happens is that this spacecraft is tracked by various stations that dot the globe so we have to remember that as a satellite circles the earth, it's it's visible to multiple stations at different periods of time. So when it's flying roughly above India and southern parts of India, the stations in southern India can track it. But if it goes east of India, then the Andaman and Nicobar Islands Port Blair station can track it. Thereafter, if it goes further east, stations in Brunei can see it and thereafter further east Australia. And then as it uh, emerges through the west, stations in America and Europe can see it. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.